Hey guys, Pridji here. In this video, we're going to create this fourth screen of this uh, series in which we're recreating these screens from a UI kit, which you can find on UI8 called NFTX. So let's jump right into Figma. All right, so we're back in Figma and we're going to continue with the very next screen, which is going to be an onboarding. So we're going to leverage one of the screens that uh, we created from scratch in one of the previous uh, tutorials here on YouTube. And what we're going to do is we're going to divide it up into two sections. So let's just get rid of all of this uh, for now. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually let's get rid of this one as well. And we're going to basically create a rectangle right here, which is going to have a soft gradient. And let's increase the size of this element and let's divide it by two. All right, now we're going to select a linear and we're going to invert these two. And I'm going to sample this color right here and this one I'm going to make it um, actually let's use the same color but let's make it lighter so we have this uh, nice uh, soft gradient going from top to bottom all right now at this point uh, what uh, we're going to do is uh, basically um, add a little bit uh, more uh, or actually let's start adding the actual um, iPhone so I'm going to go over here, increase uh, the size just a little bit. We're going to make it a little bit uh, um, smaller in uh, width. Actually, let's, let's do something around these lines. That would do. And now we're going to add uh, uh, a radius, but just in the top section. So as you can see, I can select the top section right here, give it a radius of 20. And uh, we have uh, this uh, uh, nice uh, effect. So I also want to give uh, this background just a little bit more of uh, a visual uh, differentiation, meaning that I want uh, this element to be more clear. And uh, something like that uh, would work uh, just fine. All right, well, at this point, let's bring this one just a little bit more towards the bottom section and uh, what we're gonna do next uh, is uh, we're going to go ahead and select uh, one of those uh, one of these circles duplicate it bring it here in this other canvas make it a hundred percent and uh, I'm going to sample this color and I'm going to go under uh, nuclear icons and I'm going to create a, a or actually to, I'm going to add a close icon or actually instead of a close icon let's do a check mark and uh, this one or this one could work uh, pretty well given the context. All right, let's make it smaller. Let's make this green like that. And I'm going to give it a white background over here. All right, so that's that. And uh, actually one thing I want to try is to basically make this uh, lighter all the way, but giving it some opacity, maybe something like that. Huh, not too sure about it. Maybe let's give it an opacity of 50. Let's play around with uh, the color. So this one looks pretty cool. All right, we have this, uh, this part figured out, I would say. And now we have to go ahead and add a skip button on the top. So I'm going to write skip. And we're 
also going to make this just a little bit bigger and this one as well and uh, here we go all right at this point i'm going to copy the logo which we created and by the way this is part of uh, a UI kit which you can find on UI8 it's called NFTX so if you're interested in checking out the full project feel free to do so directly over there now let's make this one just a bit smaller let's increase the size we're going to basically make a radius of six throughout all of these elements now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, um, different uh, placeholder sections and give it a radius. It's going to span all the way across that. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Maybe like this, like this. And let's uh, bring it this all the way here and this one all the way here. All right, now let's uh, increase the size of this uh, element right here. And uh, this is going to serve us as a placeholder for a button. We're going to bring it down just a bit. And now we're going to actually go ahead and uh, duplicate this element right here just a few times. We're going to actually use the same uh, color, but with a bit of a gradient. Let's mix things up just a little bit. I'm going to remove uh, what we have below. And this one here is going to be like a lighter gradient let's increase uh, on the size of these elements uh, and uh, here we go all right let's make the gradient just a little bit lighter And let's bring this one over here. And there we go. All right, so we have uh, our basic uh, uh, up, I would say. Let's decrease the size of this one just a bit. And uh, now what we're gonna do is we're going to um, basically add some more elements right here. Let's increase the size, let's center it up, let's write uh, secure your digital assets with the best one. Let's center it and uh, let's make it just bold increase the size and let's add also this text it's going to be centered let's center it again and let's bring it closer to the bottom section let's increase the size just one touch And uh, as the following step, we're going to actually create a button, which is going to basically go all the way around here. Let's duplicate this. Let's write next. Let's increase the size, make it uh, white. All right, so let's uh, go over here. Let's make this smaller. Let's make it 100. 
or actually even less than that. And let's center it up. Let's bring this one down. And we're going to duplicate this a few times, group it, make this uh, lighter. And we have uh, this screen as well. So really hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this tutorial and uh, I'll see you in the very next one.